New tonight in Boomtown, powering your home. Governor DeWine signed a major energy bill into law today. It aims to protect customers and address Ohio's growing energy needs by boosting power generation and increasing grid of reliability. 10TV has told you about the need for more energy before, and as more data centers and companies move into central Ohio, that need is growing. So tonight, we're exploring ways to save money on your energy bill. In central Ohio, people who have gone solar collectively saved $3 million on energy costs since 2021. Last month, the city of Columbus announced it is now expanding a solar co-op to include even more people with a 30% federal tax credit incentive. We're able to decrease the price of your average solar by about $6,735, which is pretty significant um, as opposed to just going directly with the installer, but it's only locked in for this co-op. So how much can you really save when the upfront cost is so high? Tonight, 10TV's Angela Ann dives in to see if solar power is as sunny as it seems and why Ohio is leading the way for solar manufacturing in the country. Each ray of sunlight shining down on this Clintonville garden is money in the bank for Noah Faust. I want to say once we've had it for nine years, it'll pay for itself. And after that, it's just free money. So you can't beat that. You can't beat that. Yeah. Three years ago, Noah and his wife decided to switch to solar energy. Since then, they've watched their monthly electric bill drop from the 50s to the teens to single dollar amounts. Just look at what they paid last May, $3.59. I have a deal with AEP where basically I get credit on my bill for every kilowatt that I give them. Um, so on days like today where I'm not running my air conditioning, I'm not using a lot of electricity, but it's really sunny and my panels are generating a ton of energy, I'm actually back feeding that energy into the grid. Twenty-five miles east in Etna, Ohio. This plant is 1.1 million square feet. We employ over 1,500 people, and we are the largest single-site solar manufacturing panel in North America. Brittany Rogers is head of human resources at Illuminate USA. This is one cell. The company turns out nearly 29,000 solar panels a day, just one part of the solution to meet the solar demand from homes to businesses to farms. The solar industry is booming so fast. Keeping up with production is a 24-7 job. Here at Illuminate, within six months of operation, it produced its one millionth panel. Rogers says there is no sign of slowing down, given the need for renewable energy in boom towns like Central Ohio and beyond. Where are we going with this? What's your end game? So we have big dreams. We have really big dreams. What we're already doing is advancing the technology. So we have opportunities to even make more advancements, to make more automation. Selling solar isn't always sunny. Realtors tell us they advise against it for a number of reasons. The time required to recoup the investment is significant. And if you're trying to sell your home, the typical limited warranty is one more utility for a homeowner to maintain. Noah says they have no plans to move anytime soon, so he's thankful for the panels as electric rates for his neighbors go up by the year. Right, right. I'm saving money. My bills would be way higher if it weren't for the solar panels. For Boomtown, Angela Ann, 10 TV News. And if you're wondering what that upfront cost looks like, Noah says with that 30% federal tax credit, he paid out just over $9,000 for those solar panels. An investment, he says, is worth it every time he gets his electric bill.